Birthdays, weddings, baby showers, Christmas, of course. There are certain occasions when you have to have just the perfect gift wrap. And it might have been made right here in Greensboro. Shamrock and Innisbrook Wraps is a company right here in Greensboro that makes, of course, gift wrap. Wrapping paper signals a celebration, and there is a lot of wrapping paper in this place. Kelly Leggett is here with Innisbrook's Wrap, part of uh, Shamrock Company. What does Shamrock do? We know wrapping paper. Right. Well, we manufacture our own gift wrap. Um, we are a retail packaging company, and we distribute gift wrap and accessories all over the country. So accessories, tissue paper, bags, bows? Everything. Everything that you can think of to wrap a package. Okay, so as far as where does your wrapping paper go? Where does it, what stores would we see it or companies? Right. Well, you'll see our, our wrapping paper in uh, places like Toys and Company, um, Belk. So if you're going shopping and you buy a Christmas gift for someone and you take it to the customer service counter, you're going to be choosing a, a Shamrock gift wrap to wrap your package. Amazon, I hear? Amazon.com. Uh, Walmart.com, we're all over the place. Oh, wow, and there's also the fundraising side, which I know that you are mostly involved with Innisbrook's wrap. Correct. Um, Innisbrook, we work with schools all over the country. Uh, we also work with schools internationally as well, um, and they are selling our gift wrap and accessories to raise money for their school for a good cause. So you can actually take home a roll of that, and it was made here in Greensboro? Here in Greensboro, that's right, and I'm sure many of the people here in Greensboro are purchasing our gift wrap to go do good things for the schools and the community. And what is it like having a business in Greensboro? Why is Greensboro a good place to have a business? Greensboro is a wonderful place. I grew up here. I actually sold Innisburg gift wrap when I was in elementary school at Lindley Elementary. Um, you know, we are just a community-based company. Um, we are a family-owned company, and you know, people like our products for the quality. So we're in the creative center of Shamrock right now. What's on this wall behind us, Kelly? Well, this is the Shamrock retail packaging area where we have um, a display of all of the gift wraps available for our uh, retail stores. So like Belk um, could come and uh, they would take a look at our catalog, but these are the uh, gift wrap designs that they would choose from um, to put into their stores. And some of them might come to you with a design they want to use that would be exclusively theirs, right? Absolutely. We do custom work as well for gift wrap designs. Okay, and so now we're, let's walk a little bit because uh, these are some brand new designs on this wall, right? Right. These are some designs that we will come out with um, in 2015 and 2016. Um, you know, we really have to take a look at the trends um, that are going on, you know, with patterns and everything. So and colors and styles. Exactly. Um, and then if you pan over um, to the, to the wall down here, um, you'll see this is our kind of wall of fame uh, where we categorize the gift wrap designs for the uh, current year in terms of uh, you know the most popular designs. So this year we had a superhero theme with Innisbrook for our fundraiser and the superhero gift wrap was our number one seller. Oh, that's fun. And uh, this one might be kind of uh, not coming back again. <laughs> yeah, the snake skin didn't do that well this year, so I don't think we'll see it coming back. David Worth is the general manager here at Shamrock. What are these right here? These are cylinders that we use in our gravure printing process. So every design is broken down into a series of cylinders, and these cylinders are engraved with the design. So this is a polar bear design here, and you can see the outlines of the polar bears. Uh -huh. And this cylinder goes into our print, printing presses, and uh, there's ink in this ink well here. The cylinder, pick, the engraving picks up that ink, and we apply it to paper that's going through the printing press, and you do that, for each color and you build a gift wrap design. So right here we've got, um, this is our wash house. So um, we're busy cleaning cylinders and getting them ready uh, to go up in the rack and then we'll bring them back out the next time we need that, uh, that design. So would this, you have several polar bear cylinders, so one for each color? Right, you build an image. So the most typical colors are black, yellow, uh, red, and blue. And um, 
Uh, that's called a process job, and so most designs are at least four, four colors for us, uh, unless it's just a solid, a solid print. So um, this is where they get the cleanup. This is it. This is the this is the dirty job part of the uh, operation. Yeah. for the paper has to be mixed to this precise color and Josh Atkins makes sure it's right. He's the ink master. Yes ma'am. Uh, we check for color, we check for the lay. We want to make sure that we have the absolute best quality of ink uh, on the best quality of paper for our customers. And it's water-based ink, is that right? Uh, yes ma'am, this is water-based ink and uh, we have some Flexo on the other side and that's what we do. So is that better for the environment or better to work with? Yes, ma'am, absolutely. It's uh, non-hazardous materials, non-reactive, non-flammable, and uh, it's all around better for the environment. How many colors are you working with on a daily basis? Hundreds, thousands. I mean, we have whole books, Pantone colors. We have infinite options, whatever you can think of. So this is where ink meets paper and gift wrap is made. Jim Harston, how does the process work? Where does it start? How does it finish? Well, we receive the paper, we receive the ink, uh, we mix the inks to match the colors requested by the customer. We put the, load the paper up on the back of the machine and then it goes through a station where it prints each color individually. And then somebody actually has to check it, right? Yes. We check the color over here in the viewing booth and verify that the color's uh, correct, and then we give it the okay and we run it. Okay, so after it's run, you have these enormous rolls of gift wrap. What happens then? The paper goes next door to our converting equipment where it's converted into the various size rolls that the customers order. Anywhere from small rolls, which you'd buy at uh, a retail organization, to counter rolls, which are 833 feet or 417 feet which is usually what you find at Belts and places like that where they wrap for their customers. And you've been here how long? I've been here seven years. What kind of, what's it like working here? Oh, it's great. It's a great family organization and they take good care of us and it's like a, like a great big family. Do you think people are surprised to find out that the gift wrap that they're using for birthdays, Christmas, baby presents is made here in Greensboro oftentimes? Every time I mention it, People had no idea that we make it right here. So much of this stuff is going to China right now. It's nice to see that some of it is still made right here in the USA. And really high quality gift wrap too. Oh, it's the best. We use the best paper that um, you'll find anywhere. So next time you're shopping for a gift wrap, maybe it's for Valentine's Day, Christmas, a birthday, a baby shower, a gift. Take a closer look. It might have been manufactured right here in Greensboro.